Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to set custom user attributes in Azure. User attributes are all here along the side and they're used in APIs when you configure SSO for auto provisioning via a skim bridge to populate the service provider app. First of all, I just want to say that these custom fields will not be in the properties tab. Uh, they're just attached to the service principal on the account. So you have to call them via the graph API. So here we are in the graph API and I just wanted to make kind of a distinction here between there's a get like a get query that you can run, but this is not going to bring up all the attributes, right? So we actually have to run a special custom attribute query here. Um, and this right here is your the object ID of the user in Azure. Uh, so we'll just run that query. And here we can see the extension attributes. I've already filled a couple in, but I'm going to show you how you can add a custom extension attribute. Yes, yeah, so I've just pasted in some JSON here. And this is going to be a patch because we're going to be updating a value. Um, so what we're going to do is say I have a custom attribute and it's in a service provider application like um, Concur, um, SAP, something like that. And they have they allow custom attributes. Well, say Azure doesn't allow for a region. And I know it does, but say it doesn't. Let's just go and say Russia. Okay. Now you want to make sure, like I said, that this is a patch and that this is the what what the API is going to call and push to. So this is the object ID of the user. And then here is the rest of the value. So we just run the query. And that came back with no errors. And now just to make sure that it has indeed updated, we're going to run a git. So we're going to get some information from this object ID, which is a user then run the query. And here we have it, our new custom extension. It's now Russia, that is our value for this user. Cool, so now what do we do with that value? Well, as you can see here, I'm in Litmos, which is, um, it's an SAP product uh, for learning, SAP, I don't know how it's called, it's, I don't know, I'm just an admin. But here's the region, right? So this is field number three, like we configured custom field three, custom attribute extension. So this is where we're gonna populate that data. So if we go back over to measure, but we go to provisioning. So you have to set up single sign-on for this, for auto user provisioning, and this is not an SSO tutorial. Um, so we're gonna go to provisioning and mappings and users, because that's what we were doing. We were mapping a user attribute. Here are my other custom extensions, but we're gonna add a new mapping. And that was field three. So that's the source attribute. So that's the custom attribute. That's the like where the attribute is coming from that we just defined. And then the target attribute would be field three. So because SAP has already configured their application, the service provider application on their end to take custom fields and they've, they've allowed for user auto provisioning, a skim bridge, this is possible. Not all apps will have this. This is just for if you have auto user provisioning enabled and the app allows custom fields. So you just click OK. And then we'll save it. Don't forget to save because I have forgotten before and was very confused when it didn't work. All right, so that's all set. So now we can go over here. 
and we can force provisioning, which is going to sync up with SAP Litmos. So we'll start it. Cool. Let's see, 345. Let's refresh it. Refresh. There it goes. It's updated. Now, if we come back over here, there it is, Russia, in a custom user field that does not exist in Azure. So if we see, just to confirm, I know there is country region, but I'll just show you what it looks like in this user's. So edit properties. I know there's country region, but like I said, we're just we're using region as a custom field. So there is no region in here. It is only country origin, but there's it's not populated here because we're using that custom attribute. So I hope this helped you. And I guess comment, subscribe, whatever. Take care.